Morning, Crow. Hello. How are you today? Good. Awesome. Can't complain. It's not raining. There you go. It is not raining here as well. Nice. I like the rain until it starts becoming a problem. <laughs> Indeed. And there's also a speed problem here in Los Angeles, but that's a separate problem that gets aggravated by the rain. The, the fact that uh, everybody goes like five miles an hour because there's 20 lanes of traffic stopped. No, the fact that people still want to go like 80 miles an hour because this is Los Angeles and people do very courageous acts on the freeway and then they don't end up the way they think they will. Usually jackknifed into into the middle divider. <laughs> I don't miss driving around out there. It gets pretty interesting. Used to work for a law firm, and our secondary headquarters was LA. And we had like five offices up and down the coast. So we would fly out there, mm -hmm. ship equipment to the LA office, install it, and then we would cascade the servers up and down the coast for a couple of weeks. Back <laughs> in days of yore, before there was a cloud. <laughs> right on. And I just I hated driving down to uh, Irvine and San Diego. Yep. Irvine's actually not as violent, but when you get to like downtown LA, it gets pretty violent. It was terrible. I actually, <laughs> it, it was beautiful. I enjoyed it. Like mm -hmm. San Diego, mm -hmm. they had an open air lobby. It, like the elevator core was open to the world. That's super cool. They had a dude, like a little dude behind a desk, a guard, and like he got to sit in the shade and look at this beautiful weather all day. <laughs> Yeah, back when it wasn't raining, like you know, three weeks in a row. Yeah, yeah this was a hundred years ago. This actually, it actually was a different century then. <laughs> it's true. We have traveled into the future. It's crazy. See, like we have Dan, who's a time traveler. <laughs> It's like what uh three o'clock for you that's right. so dan's in the future seven o'clock for randall he's in the past <laughs> yeah this is like an episode of doctor who right here <laughs> where's my sonic screwdriver that's what i know I'm... right <laughs> so is that our transition for the speeding <laughs> it is our transition <laughs> I would love to welcome everyone to the April 11th edition of the best working group. <laughs> uh, I'm curious if we have anyone that is interested in being our scribe today. I will help. I'm, I will, I would, beg for people to not make me the only one <laughs> I, I will help as well oh we have the davids on it awesome thank you gents david's great appreciate it well do we have any new friends on the call that wanted to introduce themselves and say hello to the group i don't know if there's anyone else new but i'm amanda martin i'm the new director of program management at the Linux Foundation. And I just like to pop into some of the working group meetings from time to time to see if the Linux Foundation project management can support you all anymore. Awesome. So I'm just gonna sit in the background and observe. Thanks for being here. Uh, do we have any other new friends that wanted to say hello? Uh, I'm, I, I think this is my first time in this particular group. Um, this is usually too early for me, but uh, I was, I was up earlier today. Um, yeah, I'm Chris from a programmer at uh, IBM Cloud Object Storage. I'm also in 
uh, various uh, standards bodies, TC39, CSS working group. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, as well as open source maintainer, committer, et cetera. Uh, so hello. Excellent, welcome. Anybody else want to say hello? Right. Well, let's get down to business. If you have any open items you wish to discuss, please add them down in the open section a little bit further down the agenda. Uh, some administrivia. If we have any uh, project, uh, SIG, or other leads, I want to post an update down below for our projects. I see Mr. Wheeler furiously typing away about the security fundamentals class. But if anyone else has any other updates they'd like to add about our sub projects, please do. I wanted to showcase uh, there is a thing called uh, the Open Source Summit North America that'll be held in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, in May, and anyone that is attending, I first off, if you're a working group member, encourage you to come find me. I have a treat for you because of your participation in these groups. Um, but I also wanted to showcase we have a lot, a significant amount of members from this group, um, some of our member SIGs, and some of the affiliated groups like the vulnerability group. Um, a lot of folks, a lot of your peers are presenting doing some sharing some awesome thoughts there so uh, if you'll be at the summit and you get a treat for me i also encourage you to uh, peruse this list and go see some of your peers and hear about the awesome things that they uh, want to share with the open source world all right any questions about the open source uh, summit north america Uh, fun fact, the Open Source Summit Europe, which will be in Balboa, Spain, uh, call for papers is still open until May. So uh, I would encourage us looking at how well we did in the North America Summit. I would encourage all of our friends to submit to talk in Europe. I have. All righty. Um, do we have any open items today or anything we wish to discuss? We have had a lot of activity with our C and C++ uh, hardening guide, um, some really good progress on our source code management guide. And we also adopted a new SIG, uh, the memory safety SIG. They're going to meet later this week. So if you're curious about how to convert, uh, traditional older software into a memory safe language, come participate in that group. That'll be a lot of fun. Anyone have any topics they want to uh, talk about today? I guess I'll quickly note, and that this is down in the project updates, uh, we finally got the HTTP target stuff updated, which is one of those, you know, <clears throat> we, we knew it needed to be updated, but actually tracking down what the current state was was hard. So my thanks to everybody who, who uh, helped track down the, uh, the real situation. Um, and so as, as always, I will beg for if there are things that you think should be included in that course, uh, please propose, ideally as pull requests. <laughs> Well, I think it's part, you know, our SIG, the education SIG, I feel as soon as we get some direction from the governing board, we will start to ideally uh, be generating some new course content. We'll need to decide, do we make a second class mm -hmm. or do we augment the existing class? We need to kind of think through how we want to approach the coursework in addition to things like our labs and SKF and any other ancillary things we want to do. Yeah, I mean, if it's small, it's probably simpler just to embed it in the current. If it's bigger, then maybe a separate course. So, you know, but obviously those questions depend on what is the content. 
I know my friends at Intel are working furiously on scrubbing the uh, developer manager course that they're uh, going to be donating. So that probably feels like something different enough. We might want to consider yeah. spinning off another class. Maybe I, I would agree. I, I, I would agree. It's a, it's a different audience. And so that does sound like uh, something that would make sense separately. Yeah, the original class was uh, 300 PowerPoint slides with speaker notes for the instructor. And they've uh, parsed that down. It's hovering like around 150 right now. Wow. There's a lot of Intelisms, like thou shalt follow the Intel SDLC. And here's the web page where that you go to get that. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So they're, re they're retooling that. And I think they're like adjusting Instead of thou shalt follow the Intel SDLC, they're changing it to you should follow an SDLC. So ideally we'll see that in the next month or so as we pass that over. Right. Does anyone have any other opens? Uh, Dan. I just wanted to mention and keep people keeping people's thoughts, the W3C, OpenSF, OWASP, OpenJS joint workshop that uh, we're going to be running in London in June. Uh, and we're still, uh, so, you know, the uh, deadline for paper submissions is the 24th of April. And yeah, we really need people to think about submitting papers. Um, again, I'm, I'm happy to talk to anybody about this uh, on Slack uh, who wants more detail. But you know, this is really about trying to bring together the web developer community and the open source software supply chain community and bring a meeting of the minds about how to increase the quality and security characteristics of web of web development and web 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 software. Um, so uh, yeah, please keep this in your minds and please have your organizations um, or work on uh, on on some submissions. That's it. And I'll remind folks that part of the education uh, SIG is we identified uh, the web developer as a particular group we potentially wanted to. Uh, curate some additional content for. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's at least there was some energy around that. So I would let's post that in the EDU SIG channel too, Dan. But I would encourage everybody that, you know, if you have an idea for a uh, workshop topic to discuss there and to collaborate on, please uh, submit that. It's a really great opportunity to you know, potentially have a pretty big influence in this critical mm -hmm. space. All right, last call for any other topics to talk about. All right, not hearing any other suggestions. I will adjourn the call. You have 45 minutes of free time. You're unbooked. You can go play and not have any work to do. So enjoy. Uh, I, I, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your days thank you for coming and we look forward to talking to you soon have a great day and uh, those of you that are interested in 45 minutes we have our education de and i uh, subcommittee call so i would invite you to come join christine and jay and i and the rest of us there talk to you all later have a great day <laughs>